Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to add Z-Way functionality to your Lincoln Link ISG Smart Home Gateway. This process will work for the original ISG and the ISG Display Max. For this video, I will be doing everything on my ISG Display Max. For this new process, you do need to have your device updated to the latest OS, which I'll have a link for on how to complete in the description below. Before getting started, I recommend having the ISG fully updated and Home Assistant set up on the ISG if you plan to use it for running your Home Assistant instance. If you plan to run Home Assistant elsewhere, but want to utilize the ISG to provide Z-Wave functionality, you can still follow along and most of the steps will be exactly the same. For this setup, I will be using the 800 series Z-Wave Plus USB dongle from Zoos. To get started, plug in your Z-Wave Plus USB dongle. Then navigate to add-ons and verify that the serial port viewer is enabled and seize the USB dongle. From here, you'll want to capture the path ID in case you ever need it in the future. After, click on Z-Wave JSUI under the add-ons menu. Take note of the access address, as this can be used later on to access the Z-Wave JSUI add-on from your computer or phone browser. From here, click on Automatic Configuration. Next, click on Insert and Configure. The ISG display will now go through setting up the appropriate configurations for JSUI. This process will take a few moments to be completed. Once it's done, you'll be presented with a success page where you can click on OK. With the automatic configuration completed, any devices added to Z-Wave JSUI will automatically be added into Home Assistant via MQTT Auto Discovery without any extra work. If you want the Z-Wave device to be added into Home Assistant via the Z-Wave integration, there are just a few more steps to take with a few different options to decide on. For the next few steps, with the Z-Wave JSUI add-on selected, you can either click on Open to have Z-Wave JSUI opened on the ISG itself, or you can browse to the access address from your phone or computer, as long as it's connected to the same network. For the rest of this video, I will be doing everything from my computer, because I find it easier to use a mouse and keyboard, but you can complete everything right from the ISG itself, and the steps will be exactly the same. If you want the Z-Wave WebSocket integration to add devices into Home Assistant, you can set it up alongside leaving the MQTT Auto Discovery set up. This means when you add a Z-Wave device, it will be seen as a Z-Wave device within Home Assistant, as well as an MQTT device. I'm not aware of any direct issues that this could cause, but I personally don't recommend doing that, as it can cause confusion with automations or other smart home integrations. To go with this option, expand the Home Assistant section on the Settings page, and enable WS Server, making sure to click on the blue Save button after. Another option would be to disable MQTT Gateway within the Z-Wave JSUI add-on. This option prevents any devices being shared via MQTT and will prevent duplicate devices within Home Assistant. To enable the Z-Wave integration without MQTT at all, first uncheck the box next to MQTT Gateway on the settings page of the Z-Wave JSUI add-on. After, expand the Home Assistant section and enable the WS server. The rest of the settings here can be left alone, so click on the blue save button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. The third option, and the one I'll be going with for this video, is to set up the Z-Wave integration and publish device state MQTT, but without auto discovery into Home Assistant. To set this up, we will leave the MQTT gateway enabled on the Z-Wave JSUI settings page and expand the Home Assistant section. Next, enable WS server and disable MQTT discovery. The rest of the settings here can be left alone, so click on the blue save button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. This will enable devices being shared over a WebSocket connection with Home Assistant, and disable MQTT auto discovery of devices from Z-Wave JS UI. With whichever option set up that you decided on, navigate to your Home Assistant server. If you need the IP address for Home Assistant on the ISG, you can navigate to add-ons and select Home Assistant server. Here you'll find the IP address. From Home Assistant, Click on Settings and select Devices and Services. If your network and Home Assistant instance is set up correctly, your Z-Wave JSUI instance should be auto-discovered. If it was auto-discovered, you can click on Configure to automatically add in the Z-Wave integration into Home Assistant. If it was not auto-discovered, click on Add Integration and search for Z-Wave. Select Z-Wave twice and then enter in the IP address and port of the Z-Wave JSUI instance that we copied and used earlier. Make sure to leave the ws colon slash slash in front of the IP address for Z-Wave JSUI and then click on Submit. With Z-Wave added into Home Assistant, you'll be able to see any devices joined to your controller and add devices right through Home Assistant. 
Any devices added through Home Assistant will be visible and manageable through Z-Wave JSUI. Depending on how you plan to manage Z-Wave devices, you might need to access the Z-Wave JSUI add-on often, so let's go over, adding quick access to it through Home Assistant so that it's always on your sidebar. First navigate to Dashboards under Settings. Then click on Add Dashboard. Select New Dashboard from Scratch on the pop-up. Next give your dashboard a name and an icon if you want. Make sure that Show in Sidebar is enabled if you'd like to see it on your sidebar. Click on Create when all set. After, click on the dashboard we just created from the sidebar. From here, click on the pencil icon in the top right hand corner to edit the new dashboard. In the dashboard editor, click on the pencil icon next to the home tab and set the view type to panel. Make sure to save the change. Then click on the add card button at the bottom right hand side of the screen. On the window that opens, search for and select web page. Here we will paste in the URL for Z-Wave JSUI, clicking on Save when done. Now that we've set up the web page card, we can click on Done for the dashboard editor at the top right hand side of the screen. With default settings of Z-Wave JSUI, the menu is on the left hand side of the screen, which may be a bit confusing for some. So if you'd like, you can move the menu to tabs at the top of the page by going to Settings within the Z-Wave JSUI add-on, expanding the UI section, and enabling Use Tabs for Navigation. Doing so will move the menu to the top, which might be more enjoyable. If you like the way this looks, make sure to click on Save. And you can always change it back if you end up not liking it. And with that, we have successfully added Z-Wave Plus functionality to the Lincoln Link ISG Display Max, and added a custom dashboard to Home Assistant to allow for easily accessing the Z-Wave JS UI add-on. If you run into any issues getting this set up, make sure to leave a comment below, and someone from the community might be able to help you out. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy automating.